peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers we are out here in the heart of nature baby deep divers do you ever sometimes wake up and wish something good would happen to you for once well we are going to change all of that right now how to make something good happen to you today because it's about time let's just Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. No, no. Let's just. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Now, that's the question that came in. Somebody asked Ralph, yes. How can I make something good happen to me for once? It seems like I always attract bad luck, bad people to me, and negative experiences. Alas, today. I guarantee you something good is going to happen to you. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Wonderful deep divers. First and foremost, shout out to everybody who's been supporting the movement, who's been getting their good ass prana shirts, staying fresh, ralphsmart.com slash clothes. Also the model search is on. If you feel you've got what it takes, Instagram at Infinite Waters. Follow us there and tell us why. So we've got a whole lot to talk about. Every single day, something good is happening to me in my life. You see, what I've realized along my journey is that everything happens in cycles. Everything happens in cycles. And for something good to happen to you, you got to wait for your turn. Oh, it's my turn right now, okay? Just because something good is not happening to you this very second, it doesn't mean it won't happen for you in the next hour. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Patience, patience, patience has changed my life. Just when something good is about to happen to you, you get really impatient. And then you're so angry about the situation that you mess everything up you got 99 problems and you've become the hundredth one okay so let's just say you're having a really bad day nothing is going your way what happens you have what i call kick the cat syndrome don't ever kick the cat down the road it will bite you okay in other words you start making everything else negative around you for something good to happen to you today, to make it happen, even if you are going through a really hard time, hard time, be an alchemist. Alchemy is the art, the science of making the best out of the worst and never allowing external events to govern your internal condition. Hmm. What? Yikes, I caramba. Slow motion this side. Hmm. I'm an alchemist, baby. Plus, I'm a Pisces. Never count a Pisces out, okay? I always make something good happen to me every single day because I choose it. You have a choice every single day. Life is not something happening to you. Life is something responding to you, your words, your thoughts, and your actions. Be patient. I know what it's like. We don't live in a fairy tale. Life can be ugly at times. People can get on our nerves at times. They can disappoint us at times. Hard life circumstances at times. However, you aren't a victim. You are not helpless or powerless. You are powerful and you can help yourself right now to attract something good in your life once you change your attitude towards it. Once you change your response towards whatever situation is making you frown. It happens to all of us. It happens to all of us. It's just that each one of us has a different response. Mm. Stop it, Ralph. Slow motion this side. Mm. I make this look good, right? <laughs> look, I've realized this, that good and bad, it keeps us in the duality mindset. Like Shakespeare said, nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To make something amazing happen to you, all you got to do is count your blessings. 
to make something amazing happen to you today, all you have to do is count your blessings. Count your blessings. You can count your problems. You'll only get more of them because you missed one. Or you can count your blessings. Problems or blessings, it's up to you. Right now I'm in nature. Do you know how fortunate I am to be in nature? I could be stuck in traffic somewhere, lost in the mall somewhere. No, I'm in the heart of nature, baby. Can I get a hello there? You see, just there, I've made something good happen to me because I've acknowledged gratitude. We got birds singing over there. Hey, another good thing. Oh, they just gone over there, right? I'm making sure I appreciate every single life experience because I'm an alchemist. I choose how I feel in any given moment. I'm not a victim. How to make something good happen to you today, deep divers, ask for it. Ask and will be given to you. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Okay? That's what's helped me along my journey. You have to ask. I asked the universe many, many years ago. Dear universe, please send me a bunch of grapes. I was actually like, dear universe, please change my life. I was miserable. Working in a job which was cool, but I knew it wasn't truly what I came here to do. So I asked, universe change my life that was the first catalyst to really helping me set things into motion if you don't ask you will never get it if you do not ask you will never get it now ralph smart that's my name i'm left-handed i'm left-handed i'm a pisces i'm a pisces born on march 3rd i had to put that in there because i want lots of presents I'm a Pisces. Pisceans, you know what I'm talking about here. As a Pisces, I'm very compassionate. I love to help other people to the point where I forget about myself. Okay? <laughs> and I don't really, I don't really like to ask for help because as a Pisces, I'm supposed to have it all figured out. That was a program I had to delete. Back at school, I was playing football, soccer, and one day I twisted my ankle really bad, and I'm like, Ralph, you got to be strong. You're a Pisces. Everybody comes to you for help. You can't ask anybody for help. And I didn't actually ask anybody for help. They're like, Ralph, are you okay? I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. And I went home feeling like, Ralph, you've just twisted your ankle. What on earth are you doing asking if other people are okay? You need their help, Ralph. Come on, come on, come on, right? Thank goodness I've learned. That was like 20 years ago. 15 years ago, something like that. I'm asking for help. Oh, I'm asking for help right now. I might even ask you for some raw cane sugar, seven day vegan challenge. Cause I know you got some agave nectar, some coconuts, maybe some bananas or cherries. I'm a, I, I, I might ask you for it. I might ask you for it. Be ready. If you don't ask, you have no chance of receiving. I'm buying lights, upgrading my camera equipment, my whole studio equipment. And I'm like, whoa, the bill is really expensive. I'm in a shop called Sammy's in Culver City. I'm like, whoa, it's really expensive. Can I get a discount, please? And the guy was like, yes. Can I get an even bigger discount, please? An even bigger discount, please? And he's like, yes. An even, big, an even bigger one, please. And he's like, yes. An even bigger one, please. And he's like, yes. He just kept saying, yes. And I kept asking, I'm like, I'm like, yes. He was like, yes. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I better, okay. That's cool right there. <laughs> it's amazing because before I would just accept, okay? So when you learn how to ask, you actually get something great come into your life when you ask somebody 
something, when you open up to them, when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, to say, actually, can we go out tonight? Oh, yes. <laughs> They'll be like this to you, deep divers. Yes, right? Fellas, ladies, if you like someone out there today, ask them out. Don't be too big. Don't be too full of audacity, so bold and so in your ego that you're afraid to ask because you're afraid to get rejected. No, just ask. Say, hey, I really like you. Can we go out? You probably may get rejected, but at least you asked. If you didn't ask, you would never know. Assumptions make bad conclusions. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> How to make something good happen to you today. Deep divers, what's helped me along my journey, plain and simple, is this. Asking is only one component. When I talk of the law of attraction, the law of attraction means work, okay? The law of attraction means work. Twisting and turning like this, right? Law of attraction means work. It means getting out there. Get off your ass and make it happen. That's what the law of attraction actually means. Okay, a lot of us, we're confused that we just have to think, we just have to think about it and it's gonna magically manifest. That was me along my early journey. I'm like, just think about inspiring millions of people. Don't actually do it. That was my logic then. And it never actually happened because I would ask the universe like, universe, I want to wake up one day on a beach, sipping a mango juice, just being happy, helping a lot of people. And the universe was like, you've asked, but Ralph, are you deserving of it? You see, you have to be deserving of it to attract it into your life, to make something good happen to you today. Be deserving of it. Okay? Be deserving of it. Say, actually, I deserve this. A lot of us, we don't deserve it. We do not deserve it because we haven't put in the work. 10,000 hours is what you need to become a master in your field. Have you put in the work today to make something good happen to you? Today, get busy. Stop waiting for something to happen to you. That's great. Make it happen. Shock everybody. Go out there. That's what I did. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm in nature, I'm creating, I'm making something good happen to you. To you and to the cat down the road. Because every single day, I get thousands of messages from people who are like, Ralph, your videos have absolutely changed my life and my cat's life. Oh, fantastic. I should actually introduce your cat to the cat down the road. Can, can we do that? Let's do it, okay, we'll do it after. Look, you have to be deserving of it. A lot of us, we walk around with this sense of entitlement, this sense, the sense of entitlement, which is like, I deserve it. No, you don't. Not unless you put in the work for it. I deserve a new car. I deserve a wonderful person coming to my life. So many people waiting and expecting the right person to appear in their lives instead of being the right person. You want a perfect person, but are you perfect? Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. You better recognize. So I had to learn how to be deserving of it, which meant I had to step into radical action. If you step into radical action, something good will happen to you today, I guarantee you. If you wanna start a YouTube channel, do it right now. Go and buy a camera, film it today, and I'll put a comment under the video. I'll put a comment under the video. Trust me, just email me, say, hey, I just made a video after watching this video. I'll, I'll put a comment in the, in the comment section because I'm, I'm nice like that. <laughs> if you wanna start a business, do it right now. If you want to study, do it right now. Whatever your dream, goal, ambition is, ambition is, step into radical action. Stop waiting for Friday. Stop waiting for somebody to fall in love with you. Stop waiting for other people's permission. Stop feeling like, hey, 
The world owes you something. The world owes you nothing. You owe it to yourself. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay. How to make something good happen to you today. Deep divers, what's helped me along my journey is to give. The more you give, the more you free the space inside of yourself to receive something greater. Let me tell you a story, deep divers. Do you know I've made videos where I'm like, should I share this? It's such a beautiful video. Like one of those videos was how to decalcify your pineal gland. Okay, that video went viral. It's got millions of views. But when I made it, I'm like, gosh, this video is so special. Let me, let me keep it to myself and the cat down the road. If I didn't share it, it wouldn't have benefited so many millions of people. So you have to learn how to give it away. That's how you free up space to receive something even greater. Because that video was made a while back. I've moved on since then. I'm diving deep into so many other different areas, helping millions become their greatest version. But that was the catalyst videos like that for where I am right now. You have to learn how to give it away. If you have a great voice, make a song and just share it. Have a free mixtape. I give all my content away for free. I could easily have a membership site saying, hey, we're gonna charge you $30 a month. Actually, I might do that. Sounds like a good idea to me. No, I wanna give it away for free. Why? Because I'm enriching people's lives. This is about the message. At the same time, guess what's happened to me? I'm not a starving artist out here. I attracted infinite abundance while giving everything away for free. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. A little creative tip. A lot of people, they want to charge people for content before they've actually blown up. That's not actually a wise idea because nobody knows who you are, okay? I've given away so much content that I could actually do a membership. What? How many subscribers do we have on this channel? Like 1.2 million. And I guarantee you, I would have, I would at least have a couple of thousand people who would actually pay, who would actually pay a membership of $30 a month. Do you know how much money I would make? Actually, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm happy to give it away because the universe has blessed me. Every single day I wake up in infinite abundance with a bunch of grapes in my mouth. To all of those people out there, this, this could be you. If you want to be stingy, if you want to hold it to yourself, realize what happens when you're doing this. You're not open to receive. What happens when you do this? You are open to receive. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. What happens when you do this? When you hold it all to yourself, you're not open to receive. What happens when you do this? When you give, you are open to receive. Can you see how it works? When you are giving, you are also receiving. Oh my gosh, can I get a hello there? How to make something good happen to you today. We're just having fun, just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Be kind. Look, what's helped me along my journey is to be kind, be compassionate, and put yourself in someone else's shoes, okay? Shout out to all the people who are enriching other people's lives, who are going out of their, their way to actually add value to people's lives in a positive way. Okay? Shout out to all the people who are kind to other people, who are compassionate, who are compassionate to other people and other souls on the planet, all life forms on the planet. Seven day vegan challenge. The cat down the road, the dog down the road, the cat, <laughs> the cow down the road, okay? Shout out to everybody who is compassionate to all the life forms on the planet, the animals, they need care, they need affection too. If you are kind to other animals, something good is gonna happen to you today. Why? Because living a karma-free lifestyle, you can sleep at night. Do you know the feeling I get knowing that I've saved an animal's life today? That's an amazing feeling. 
So shout out to everybody who is kind, not only to other human beings, because you don't know what the hell they've been through, but also kind to animals, okay? Something good is gonna happen to you today. But let me just share with you a story of how being kind works. You see, I'm always sharing. And under this video, you're gonna see me respond to people's comments. That's what being kind is, is taking the time out to make somebody feel good about themselves. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. What is kind? Taking the time out of your day to make somebody feel good about themselves. Being kind is about taking the time out of your day to make somebody feel good about themselves. Paying somebody a compliment. That's what we call, that's what we call being kind. You can put somebody down or you can lift somebody up. You can criticize somebody or you can give somebody constructive criticism. You can look down at people or you can help them up. It's about being kind. If you are, you will attract better people into your life. I've seen it along my journey. Every single day I say I trust the universe to bring the right people and circumstances into my life that will help me become my greatest version. And it's happened because I'm putting out amazing, beautiful energy every single day. I only meet amazing deep divers back. How to make something good happen to you now, today, this very second. Now, speaking of the seven day vegan challenge, eating better does wonders. We know that. A lot of us, we know inherently that if we are eating better, we will feel better. Well, it's time to start doing it. Okay, and every single day, the more I'm eating better, investing in good food, whoa, whole paycheck, not whole foods, right? It's worth it though, because health is wealth. Make that your greatest investment. Health is wealth. Make that your greatest investment. If you are, something good is gonna happen to you today. Why? Why? Why will it happen to you today? Because you are investing in being here for a very, very, very long time. But also is having an immediate, it is having an immediate effect on you. When I'm, when I'm drinking a ginger shot, ginger wheatgrass, oh my gosh, right? Ginger is like a natural aspirin, an anti-inflammatory. I'm feeling the immediate effects of that. I'm like, whoa, it's hot in here, right? <laughs> so eat better for something good to happen to you today. How to make something good happen to you today. Deep divers, what's helped me along my journey is to speak your mind, even if your voice shakes. Why? A lot of us, we sugarcoat stuff. I'm talking about the fifth dimension, indigos, third eye. And that's why I meet. That's why, deep divers, that's why I meet people like you who are also diving deep. I don't sugarcoat my information. If you aren't into the third eye, unsubscribe from this channel right now. Please, go. <laughs> okay, whoever's left, we can vibe, right? Why aren't, why aren't I afraid of people unsubscribing from this channel? Because I know when someone leaves, someone will come. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. When someone leaves, somebody will come. I'm gonna speak my truth just like Lauren Hill. Shout out to Lauren Hill. Just like all the great minds of our times who've stood for something and haven't been afraid to say how they really feel. I always say that we have to wake up from this deep sleep in this matrix and free our minds from the mental bondage. We have to take back our power and realize nothing is what it seems. That's what the ancients knew. When they were opening their third eyes. So I'm always gonna speak this truth. And if you don't like it, too bad. <laughs> That's how you know something good is gonna happen to you. Why? Because by me speaking my truth, I meet other people who accept my uniqueness. What? By me speaking my truth, I 
meet and connect with other people who accept my uniqueness, but more so, I learn how to accept my own uniqueness and how I was raised, how, who am I, right? I learn how to accept the very essence of who I am. So don't be afraid of speaking your heart and mind. You just might meet the cat down the road. How to make something good happen to you today. What's helped me along my journey is very plain and simple. Let go, let it go, let, let it go of the past. We have to learn how to let go of the past, but learn from it. If you can learn from the past, you don't have to throw away the past. Learn from the past. It's a valuable learning tool, but I'm never allowing the past to define who I am, where I can go to. So I use the past as a, as a valuable learning tool. You have to learn how to forgive yourself every single day. Forgive yourself for your own ignorance and then do better tomorrow. Do better right now. You can actually rectify the situation right now. That's how you make something good happen to you. Okay? What's helped me along my journey? Make something good happen to me. Right now. <laughs> Is to be responsible for my own happiness. Now, when people say happiness is an inside job, it's kind of irritating, isn't it? Because it's like, hey, no, no. But really and truly, it is an inside job. We all actually should be making other people happy because when we are happy, we put out this amazing energy. But it's both. We need to be happy and also people need to make us happy. <laughs> but originally, and first and foremost, it starts within ourselves, okay? We have to take responsibility for our own happiness. We have to learn how to take responsibility for our own, for our own, for our own, for our own happiness, baby, okay? Because if we don't, if we expect somebody else to make us happy, what happens if they don't? What happens if they forgot to set the alarm clock to make us happy, huh? 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 So what's helped me along my journey? To make something good happen to me today is to actually say, I'm going to be happy. I choose to be happy. I'm choosing to be happy right now in nature. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I'm choosing to not sleep with my phone on every single day. <laughs> Get away. When you're in nature, you don't need a phone. We're in nature, baby, right? I'm choosing... Once again, I said in another video that it's okay to stay low key. I'm choosing to do that. I'm choosing to not just live my life on social media and actually meet real people, okay? <laughs> I'm choosing to be responsible for my own happiness, okay? So when you're doing that, immediately something good happens to you because you're like, I could go for a run, produce those beautiful endorphins, make something good happen to me. I can leave that job I'm always complaining about and stop blaming, stop blaming my boss and actually take radical action to move to where I'm really meant to be, somewhere that's really going to make me happy. Okay? How to make something good happen to you today? Love anything. Love anything. This beautiful willow tree. That good ass prana, baby. The cat down the road. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, a stranger. Your car, whatever it is, love something. But more so, love yourself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Because mm. so many of us, we're so quick to love something externally. It's time to love yourself. And that's how you make something good happen to you. So learn how to love yourself. Find something good about yourself. Like how I love myself, deep divers. How I love myself deep divers is to say, actually, Ralph, you've made over 2,000 videos in nature. And you've been having a pretty good time. Yeah, I have actually, right? That's how you love yourself. Start becoming, start becoming your greatest fan. How to make something good happen to you today. Deep divers, what's helped me along my journey is to stay close to people who make you feel like sunlight. Ever been around somebody and you're like, I feel your beautiful sun rays, okay? I've got friends like this. 
I'm around them. I'm like, you make me feel like sunlight. They're around me. They're like, Ralph, you make me feel like sunlight. Okay. It's the best feeling in the world when you're with somebody who makes you feel when you're with somebody who makes you feel loved and appreciated. If you have that person in your life, something good is happening to you right now. And if you are aware, if you are grateful, every single day I wake up grateful because this didn't have to happen, but it did. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I could be stuck in traffic. I could be stuck in a lift. I could be constipated. I could be constipated in a toilet. No, I'm in nature. Breathing in that good ass prana, full of energy, healthy, happy, and shining. But also, I'm surrounding myself with people who make me feel like sunlight every single day. And that's how I know something good is happening. That's how I make something good happen, baby. And once you realize that deep dive as well, you just say, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> That's getting louder every time. I'm also thankful for that. Wonderful deep divers. You are amazing. Have an amazing day. We are out here in the heart of nature. Just whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. Stay fresh, ralphsmart.com slash close. You got a question, Instagram me at infinite waters. Just remind yourself, you choose to make something good happen to you. Life is not something happening to you. It is responding to you, your words, thoughts, and actions.